We created a teaching assistant AI and it's shockingly good. It can basically do everything except for one thing, but maybe the most important one. Hi, I'm Stennis, and today we'll tell you about three things our teaching assistant is exceptional at, even better than ChatGPT. Yes, even GPT-40. And I'll talk about one thing that no AI can possibly do, at least not with the current level of technology. We're going to use a purpose-built tool for professors. BoodleBox. It's a platform where you can work with several AI models in one chat window. Use pre-trained bots and attach your education materials to provide the model with context. And we'll be comparing BoodleBox to ChatGPT side by side to show you the difference. BoodleBox also has role bots specifically designed to assist with teaching students. All of the pre-trained bots have a lot of context already pre-loaded into them. They have clear roles and they know them well. So I'm going to ask both ChatGPT and BoodleBox's grading assistant bot to create a rubric for a specific writing assignment. It's going to be a creative writing assignment about the effect of climate change on today's society. Immediately after they've finished, we can see that ChatGPT's rubric has only five categories, while BoodleBox gave us 10. Also, ChatGPT only has generic categories like emotional impact, clarity, grammar, while BoodleBox also includes such categories as literary devices, accuracy of research, atmosphere and setting, a lot of specific ones. It took the creative writing part of the task into account and it shows in the rubric. Both chats have their rubrics, let's give them something to grade. Now I'm attaching a really bad essay I just wrote by copy-pasting from the internet and adding informal disjointed phrases in between just from me. You can pause and read it, well, I would advise against it. Both chats agree it's a five-point essay. I think they're being a bit generous, but let's look at the comments. I think they're both fair in their assessment, but BoodleBox gives us a lot more information and reasoning behind the amount of points given, and it tells us more about what the essay lacks, like scenarios to illustrate the topic, vivid descriptions, more coherent and logical flow of ideas. And what I really like, the grading assistant immediately asks us for further instructions and what we want to change. Now let's ask both models to write some encouraging feedback for the student. And here I really don't like ChatGPT's response. It basically goes through every category of the rubric and just says, do it better, polish grammar, boost emotional impact. It's really phoning in the recommendations and it's not using a lot of information from the essay. The grading assistant, on the other hand, gives some much more coherent advice. It talks about the way the student approaches the essay overall, how the student should connect their ideas and dive deeper, and to use more vivid phrases like supercharged storms, which is an example from the essay itself. But both chatbots are really nice about the feedback, so that's really good. Now, lastly, I'll ask both bots for a plan for three one-on-one -on -one lessons with the author of the essay to address their specific problems. And here, BoodleBox just completely blows ChatGPT out of the water, in my opinion. ChatGPT basically tells you in a very generic way, just teach them the thing. No details. Explain the importance of research and writing. Show how to use databases. Discuss and organize findings. There are no specifics or applicable ideas here, just general topics. BoodleBox's grading assistant goes as far as to suggest specific exercises, like practice rephrasing formal statements from the essay into formal ones, introduce techniques for vivid descriptions like metaphors, discuss how to integrate the climate denial section better. This is applicable advice and it has a strong connection to the actual essay. If you want to compare some more and by yourself, you can rewind and pause and read the instructions in detail. It's actually quite interesting. So we can see that BoodleBox knows a lot more about the language of education and the goals that professors and the students are after and what concrete steps can be taken to reach them. It has both high-level knowledge and the context that allows it to talk in detail about what the essay lacks and what can be done about it. ChatGPT, on the other hand, comes at this problem from the widest angle possible. It just doesn't know what goal you are pursuing and which of the trillions of words it has been trained on are needed for this task. And you can't really blame it because all of those things are not really self-evident from a 
a couple of short prompts. So you need to do a lot more prompting before ChatGPT can align itself with your vision and produce a useful result for an actual professor trying to teach a class. Whether it's defining goals in the learning process, evaluating their completion and student progress, or creating individualized strategies that will allow them to flourish, BoodleBox is one of the most powerful tools for higher education that are available to us right now. So what can't our teaching assistant do? It's very simple, but very crucial. It can't take the first step to help a student. At the end of the day, AI is a tool, a powerful tool, yes, but it doesn't have any agency. It can't make any decision for itself. So it can only help you if you ask it to, and if you ask it in the right way. But you as an educator have an indispensable ability to make that first step and offer a helping hand. You can connect with your students on a human level, and you can be that driving force that sets them on the path that's right for them. So that's it. I hope this video helps you find new ways to use AI in your everyday work at your institute and will inspire you to help even more students than before. Drop a like if the video was useful. Subscribe if you want to catch more videos about AI in higher education from this channel. And if you'd like to learn more about generating lesson plans with the help of AI, click on this video right here. See you in the next one.